to my reading. You know, it's Monday, so I had to come back to y'all and see how y'all was feeling today. I hope you feel appreciated and you getting your money together. All right, so uh, we're here to see what this person's intentions are. Let's get started. I, oh, shit, y'all want something. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we got the Chariot for Power 1, we have the Two of Cups for Power 2, and we have the Four of Pentacles for Power 3. Pick the power that best resonates with you. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I have readings on my website, three questions for $20. I'm on Instagram at QueenSandraXO, TikTok at QueenSandraXOXO, and I think that's it. Let's get started. Hi, Power 1. Oh, hi, Power 1. So, what are their intentions? What is pal number one's intentions? Okay. Mm, have a go shuffle this. Okay. Hmm. It seems like this person is planning on something, but they're taking their time. They want to exchange energy with you. This person wants to have a conversation with you. It's something about them sitting in front of you, looking at you type of conversation. They've been working on their money, their finances. Some some of these people might have lost homes recently. Maybe home or a car. <laughs> okay. But their attraction for you is... Oh, I, <laughs> I heard their attraction for you is lethal. This person wants your attention. They want your energy. They, I heard that they want your focus. Uh, but they've been having triggering X issues. What does that mean? This person can get over certain traumas from a past relationship. They don't want to. They don't want to get over it. That's a cautionary energy, ladies or gentlemen. That is very cautionary. Very cautionary. <laughs> Scary energy. Um... But they want your focus. They want your focus. Okay. Why? Why? You're going to hear from them very soon. This person can't wait for uh, your attention. They can't wait for your focus. And maybe the, your focus kind of like um, boosts their self-esteem. Make them feel like kings or queens. Make them feel like they have the upper hand. Like I said before, your person wants to talk to you. They want to they wanna talk to you. They want to express with you. Something. It's like this person wants to keep you in some type of entanglement energy with you. They want to they wanna be able to pull your strings. That's what I'm seeing, at least. Uh, but they take time for themselves. They act very childish. Even though... I feel like you being in their presence is something that is important to them, but it's not important in a way where like, oh, I love this person and I just need to see them because I love them. This is not that energy. This is the energy of I want them around because they they make me feel greater than who I am. They make me feel like I I got this. They make me feel like a king or a queen, that type of energy. And something about you being around, being able to talk to them makes them just feel high mighty and shit. Something about an attraction. Maybe you guys were um, involved in a previous life. Maybe you were this person's, like, I don't know, maybe their, their servant? Or maybe like a, uh, if it's very, if your relationship is very sexually based, then maybe it was like a, um, a mistress or something. It's something about you that makes them feel great. Makes them feel like a king. You might have traveled with them in a previous life time. Um, all right. So what's going on with this energy? I'm feeling like their intentions is just to uh, be in your energy. It's nothing more. Oh, well. Okay, no, that means that they're still. No, well, then what does this mean? Hmm. 
Are they growing? Are they growing? Are they growing? This person's on a journey of wealth. A journey of stability. And that's what's on their mind. It imprisons them. So even if this person wanted more with you, they couldn't really ever give it to you because... Well, at least not right now. They they don't have room. Like, their mind is... Their mind is off. But there will be messages. There will be calls. Call, yeah, calls. But you expect something from them. What are you, what are you, what are they expect? It's something that they have that you want. Something that they took in from you. Maybe you want an apology. Maybe you want some type of consideration. Maybe you want more focus. It's something that you want from this person. Something that you don't have. Do you not want this person? Do you not feel secure with this person? Because now it's talking about you at work. Something about money. What is this energy? Because it's like... This person wants you, but it's something about you feeling like, uh, not feeling secure, not feeling like, I don't know if I want this shit. But then we have marriage. It's like you're working for this relationship. You're working for something with you too. Hmm. Your concern is that it's taking too long or that it will take too long. You want to change. Maybe you want children. Maybe you want things just to be better. More stable. Uh, well. Uh, let me let me go with the what's next energy. Because I've been surprised honey. I've been surprised. I've been shocked. Well as of today. I don't know. It says that your person's imprisoned in their mind about their concerns of finances, but when you come around, you give them that fantasy distraction. But a fantasy is something that we have. Sometimes it comes true, but mainly when we daydream, it can be a distraction. Oh, I don't like this energy. That's why I'm like this. I don't like this energy. Um, well, what is, what's next and what's the intention? What is this energy? What's happening? Somebody got cheated on and that makes them obsessive. There is an energy of needing to spend time together to see if you guys really want to invest. There's been some separation, some silent treatment. Maybe feel a, an abandon or just really truly hurt. Somebody wasn't opening up and allowing things to evolve. All right. But there's thinking about how to change the situation for the better. Someone needs to take responsibility for their actions and the things that they do, the things that they say, the way they operate themselves. And somebody else needs to understand, take responsibility of understanding that people can only treat you the way you allow them to treat you, okay? But keep a positive mind. Manifest what you want. Manifest your happiness. Manifest your joy. Manifest like trying to get to some type of union. I don't know if it's with this person. I, I don't want to guarantee that. But I want to guarantee you manifesting something about what you want. They say that great things are happening. But it's also something about you needing to support yourself and stay true to yourself. So if you feel like this is your man. And you're going to stick by your man. Right? <laughs> Do that. I love that for you. You know, you like it. I love it, right? Understand it's a journey. Understand you're going to be in pain. Understand that this is not something that's it's still in the oven. It's nowhere near done. But 
you can manifest what you want. Spirit says just that anything you ask for, your dreams will come true, especially if you can focus on it. Manifest happiness, though. Don't manifest a person. Manifest happiness. And the right person for you that's going to bring you happiness will come to you. It says there's something about you need you you're lacking confidence. And some sometimes when we lack self when we lack self-confidence, we self-sabotage out of fear. Give yourself time to heal and know that everything is divine and you are the creator of your reality, right? So if somebody's not treating you good, look. It's a hundred more men, thousands more men, millions more men out here <laughs> as well as give you this happiness that you deserve but if you like this person just understand i need for you to understand that this is going to be a journey it's going to be something you're going to need to work with give me something next energy between these two you guys are going to get some type of change but it's going to be a lighthearted change you're you're going to have a conversation and this person is going to be very open with you you guys are going to reminisce about the past. Some old, outdated energy. Spirit says, follow your intuition and find peace. You guys will be back together in each other's energy. And there will still be talking, interest, interest messages, all of that. Mingling, seeing each other, spending time. There will be a reconciliation of seduction. So, if this is something that you want, you can definitely get back into this person's energy. But don't chase them. Don't give them more than what they should. Remember when I said that I feel like this person feels like they are a king around you. Or a queen is because you chase them. Even if you feel like, oh no, I don't chase a motherfucker. I let motherfuckers come to me. Look, first of all, you ain't got a lot of me, a lot of him, okay? We've all chased. <laughs> We've all chased. We've all met that one man or that one woman that just makes us go crazy. So this is your person understand that understand you can't give them more than what they should already have you feed their ego when you run after them are they feeding your ego just curious if you like this reading let me know if you feel like minting in the comment section i'm here okay um don't chase this person understand that this is a journey manifest happiness and the person that is meant for you will be for you but if you want this you guys will reconcile sexually okay so let me know what you think about this be blessed and not stressed you want more from me everything is down below and i'll talk to you guys in the next one hello pal too how are you beautiful i was about to say beautiful black people doing beautiful black people white people chinese people yellow people blue people purple people whatever you know Hi, how are you? <laughs> um, what are the intentions? What are the intentions? Okay. Is that the question? Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, their intentions is to see you. They have something to say to you. They have something to share with you. Now, I don't know if that is verbiage, though. Maybe they have the energy of wanting to share some type of love energy. Some happiness, some joy, maybe some jokes. I think that this person wants to come around and spend some time with you, just in general. It's not just like they just have something to say to you. They have more than that right now. Um. All right. So, so far we have the Chariot, the Ten of Cups, the Sun card, and the World card. This is beautiful. But I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm hot. I just got distracted. What am I going to eat today? I don't know. Anyways, so we got the Chariot, the Ten of Cups, the Sun card, and the World card. I feel like your person's coming around with good intentions. They want to give you some energy of more of them. <laughs> some emotional exchange. They want to bring you happiness. They want to bring you joy. This person's determined to give you this energy. Maybe they're closing out a cycle. I need to see what that World card means. Oh, shit. Yeah, they have something to give you. They have something that they want from you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, they got some dick for you too, if that's what you're looking for. And if you're not looking for dick, they got some pussy for you. Whatever you like, you know, whatever you like, they they got it for you. They want to give you some type of passion, some type of intimacy. I think this person wants to even clear up some type of Mister uh, Mister Understanding, child. Misunderstanding is something about them that they want to devote to you. This person is putting in overtime. Uh, it, this is not just something like, oh man, I should do this, I should do that. No, this is the energy of, I am doing this. This is what I want. <laughs> I am going after this. Putting in effort. Major effort. Because you got the chariot card, not just the nine of pentacles. That definitely is a man who's putting in effort. Or a woman, doesn't matter about gender. But the chariot card, that is willpower. That is strength. Maybe you guys have some type of disagreement, some type of a misunderstanding. And they see you as someone who's very focused on your coin, your stability, your value. There's a lot of hopefulness here. A lot of hopefulness that things will change. That if you guys had some type of disagreement, that things will be better. This person is planting seeds, putting in effort, waiting, being patient. It's like they're it's like they're they're waiting to strike. <laughs> That's what it feels like. They're obsessed. So what do they want? What is their intentions? Uh, Empress. Uh, some of y'all might be getting pregnant. That might be something. Because this person is very, very, very determined. I'm telling you, they're very determined for something. Huh. I think this is explaining why you guys haven't talked. This person's definitely coming to give you some type of rod action. I'm just saying. To get some type of rod action. Something's happening. This person, I feel like you guys have probably took in some space because this that's what the energy seems like. Like some type of separation. But spirit is saying, well, not spirit, I'm sorry. Your person is saying that it had nothing to do with you. I'm taking my time on purpose because I'm having anxiety and needing space. I miss you, but I need my space. You drive me crazy, and I want to fuck you. I want to make love to you. And when I think of you, I touch myself. I want to get back together and spend time with you. Things are different, and I made it difficult. But I am in love, and I do envision a future with you. I just been in the energy of loving myself more. This person was paying attention to something in their life. Their, their view... Their view wasn't focused on you. Their time wasn't focused on you. Something wasn't focused on you. It was focused on what else. I watch you on social media and I have feelings for you. This person keeps their eye on you. You will hear from them soon. And they might approach you with something regarding money. Um, That can be giving you money or taking money, whatever. Is it mine? I'm focused on other things. It's not enough, but I'm still here. So, what is this Empress energy? They're wondering about your heart. If you haven't been, um, like, actually, like, if you don't have social media or anything, the person's thinking about you. That can be the, their way of trying to... Uh, keep up with you. This person is obsessed. It just said it before. So I feel like now is the time where your person is about to come back around and give you way more energy than they could. But they're going to take their time with this. But they are very determined. It's been things going on in their life that they've been focusing on. But their lust for you hasn't. That hasn't dwindled at all. <laughs> because it's saying like I, I want... I want you, like, I, I think about you at night. <laughs> and, um, they're saying that I'm focused on other stuff. I'm still here for you. I keep getting the energy. This person wants to have sex with you. I keep getting that energy. This person's been depressed. They've been sad. But they want to see you. It goes from uh, dark to light with this person a lot. This is the third time I did that. Like, it was... What was the other one? Is it still mine? And I focused on other things. And then it went from, it's not enough, but I'm still here for you. And then it went from, I'm depressed, 
to I want to see you. So it's a whole bunch of light and dark. This person goes back and forth a lot in their mind. And I don't I don't even think that it's like a back and forth like if they should have you or not. It's a back and forth of I got to go here, but I want to be here. I got to go here, but I got to go here as well. That's why your person might kind of feel like anxiety and overwhelmed. But I feel like their intentions is pure. I don't think they're on bullshit. And uh, <laughs> like most of these people, no, let me not stop. Look, I'm trying to watch my words and not be negative. But it's a journey. It's a journey. And I have to work on this shit every day. It is a journey. Okay. Uh, well, then let's let's see what's a what's next energy. What's next? Then? What is next between pal two and the person that they are inquiring about? It is safe for you to love, open your heart, and receive a new person. Open your heart and receive a new person. Okay. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Stay optimistic about your love life. Be positive about it. Uh, let go of control issues and allow spirit to do what they need to do. You have a soulmate coming towards you. But see, the thing is, that's kind of like uh, about me. I don't know if it's your person that you're... I don't know it is. Okay, good, good, good. You guys are going to reconcile and things are going to get more committed. So that's great. I love that for you. Passion. Lust. Feeling safe. Having an open mind. Is it a reconciliation of between pal two and the person that they are inquiring about? Or is this a new individual, a new person? It depends. It depends. It depends. It depends on what you want. Honestly, if this, if you want someone new, you can have someone new. This, then, then this means that you need to stay optimistic and keep an open mind. Understand that you deserve love and you deserve passion and chemistry with someone new. Now, this can be a reconciliation of a soulmate, you know, a past life love. So it doesn't necessarily mean that your person, if you don't want this person, if you're just tired of waiting for them, because you still will be waiting for this energy, it seems like. But but they have so much determination. Uh they, they just got a lot going on, honestly. But if you want someone new, then you can have someone new. This will be a reconciliation of a soulmate from a past life. But if you want this person, keep an open mind. Allow things to happen naturally. You keep, stay positive. Pray for what you want because you could have more with this person. It just depends on what you want. So if you like this reading, please let me know. I want you to stay blessed and not stressed. If you want to know more about me, that's in the description box below. Um... I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, Poe 3. Okay, so what are their intentions? Really? You want me to use this deck for this? Okay. So what's the question? Oh, Poe 3 Spirit got something for you. You need to know something. Okay. Right now is the time for you to kind of simplify life. Um... I'm assuming that means that you need to kind of like get rid of a lot of problems in your energy. Understand a lot of problems. Understand certain, certain things. I It's something about you needing to eliminate some things in your life. And explore your options. Spirit says now is the time for you to start looking at other possibilities. Now is the time for you to start making good changes. Um, Spirit says that you've been asking for help. You need to allow yourself to receive help and get out your way. Spirit says that you've prayed for help. So get out your way and let heaven help you. Allow others to give you loving care and receive without guilt or apologies. Spirit says that you have some type of dream that you just need to wait on. It now is not now is not the time for you to rat now, girl, get your shit together. Do I need to smoke? Do I have something to smoke? Uh, Oh, I do. <laughs> um, should I smoke? Okay. 
Spirit says now is not the time for you to rush into action right now. Now is the time for you to dream and stay optimistic. Spirit says that you have some type of miracle occurring. Oh. Are you, what are you, what you manifesting over here, pal three? Look, I get excited. What are you manifesting? Spirit says that we're making some things happen for you. So stay optimistic. Right now you have the Midas touch and what you're creating is going to be wonderful. You just need to be patient. Oh, I hope this is my pal. Cause baby, I've been in the energy of the Empress creation. Yes. Okay. Good. I just, I was, I was, look, I was falling asleep, but I'm awake, I'm awake now, <laughs> I'm awake. Spirit says, now is the time for you to get rid of something in your life and start making decisive decisions. Now is the time for you to listen to your intuition. Now is the time for you to start looking at other possibilities. It's a time for you to make great change, right? And in this change does not require you to do anything because they're telling you not to move. They're telling you to rest. So this is a mental thing. You have a unforeseen windfall of new abundance coming towards you right now. Now, if this is my pal, I pray that it's money and love. Because, you know, <laughs> good combinations. Um, But honestly, I really feel like right now you have some unforeseen miracle coming towards you that you can't see. So they don't want you to stop before you get there now if this is not about love and it's just about money you're about to have a lot of money come to you just keep going spirit says that the more you heal the more you focus on yourself the more you go after yourself go after the things that you enjoy and manifest your desires once you pay attention to yourself and find peace that's when things start manifesting more rapidly so that's why i was thinking that yeah now is the time for you to concentrate on yourself now is the time for you to focus on your mental Start thinking about what you want. Now's the time for you to move on and watch your thoughts. Don't be petty. You know, I got the message a couple of days ago that I needed to stop being petty. Did I? I did. I did stop being petty for a day. And then I did something petty. And I don't regret it. <laughs> I don't regret it at all. But, like, a do as I say, not as I do. Don't be petty, pal three, okay? It's not, it's not, it's not conducive. It's, it's not a good thing. But I don't regret it. Anyways, so let me, let me get my point real quick so I can explain what's going on. Honestly, I don't feel like this is someone about someone else. I feel like spirit is trying to tell me to tell you that if you give up, you will be very, very disappointed in yourself because you're so close. You're so close. And the thing is, I don't know if you don't realize this, but you have so much helpful energy around you. You're not alone in this. Whatever you're trying to do, you're not alone. You're not alone. You're not the only person, spiritual or human, that is helping you with this. Now, if you can't see it, that's your fault. You need to recognize that you have love spiritually or physically that is trying to help you with something so this is not really what i'm gonna go and ask what's their intention but this is more about i want you to understand now is the time for you to move on to greatness allow yourself to have fun allow yourself to go out with people go allow yourself to date if that's what you want to do spirit says that we're helping you along this journey and we need to we need for you to let go of guilt we need for you to remember who you are we need for you to understand that you are god's perfect child and when God says yes, because there, this is a yes to whatever you want, but you need to be decisive and understand that you are the creator of your reality. And right now you are the manifestator, the manifestator. I don't know if that's a word. Don't judge me. But <laughs> right now you are the manifestator of your journey and you have the mightiest touch. That means that everything, whatever you choose will be great for you, but choose, choose good things. <laughs> Choose, choose things that's going to elevate you. Choose a person that's going to elevate you. Choose a, a way of making money that's going to elevate you. Because you can create. You're, you're creating. You're, you're in the empress energy. Regardless if you're a man or female. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see if it's still snowing. I need to go get some blunts. I got a problem, y'all. I have a problem with smoking. And I do it because I'm bored. I have a problem. 
And do I want to solve it? Oh, God, that's the problem. That's the, that's the question. That is the question. I don't think I do. I think I just want to cut back. If y'all have, I think I need to get a pen. Don't judge me for my smoking habit. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a habit that I've developed over the years. From bad people. That's why you got to watch who you hang out with. Okay, so intentions. What is Pal 3's person's intentions? What is this energy? Oh, I keep on getting the energy of newness. The Ace of Swords. Somebody got something to say. Somebody's creating balance. Somebody's understanding. Somebody's working at getting a simplified home. Oh, my God. Where you guys are going to love each other and give equally to one another. I feel like when you're down, this person's up. And when this person's up, you're down. But see, the thing is, you guys are never going to really understand that you guys are down. Because if you're down, your person's going to be there in their upness bring you up and when your person's down like it's it's going to be a great balance it's going to be an understanding balance you got balanced twice <sighs> there's going to be a change in your reality i don't think this is about a person you know already i'm sorry we got a king of wands and we got a leo sagittarius aries this man is very confident of himself very confident this man or woman that's very confident of themselves this is a new person i don't get old i'm sorry if you're looking for what is your person that you already know intentions? I have two other pals that will probably work for you better. But this one right here, you're about to get somebody. Oh, God, Lord, please let this be my pal. You're about to get somebody new. You're about to get somebody new, and you're about to fall in love. You're about to fall in love. Stay hopeful. Oh, yes, this is the card that I was looking for. And it's oh, my God. You're about to get commitment. You're about to get something that's long-lasting, something that can heal you from heartbreak and bring you happiness, child. Look. Hmm. Okay, hold on one second. I dropped the card on the floor. <gasps> and the sex is going to be good. Okay, you're going to like this person. That's probably why they was like, you, Um, that's probably why they was like, we need to, tell them something first um honestly honestly i feel like you're about to come out of some type of cycle of being mistreated honestly this man or this woman that you are coming up against right now is going to bring you the stability the peace the love is going to be an understanding you guys are going to like each other just as much as you guys like each other <laughs> It's going to be divinely orchestrated. This is a good this is a good union. It seems like this is going to be something that's going to be long lasting. Now I need to, to understand the three and the two. Um, I think you guys are going to work together financially. Something about money. Now if this is not someone that you meet through work, this is going to be someone that you are going to... Two and three. Two and three. Two and three. Two is playfulness. Three is working together hmm. you guys are going to mesh very well very very well this is going to be one of your soulmates someone that you are already intuitively linked to but you have someone that's coming towards you that's going to be long lasting and you can divinely you already divinely have a connection with them this is this is one of your soulmates so you have an option of connection if you want this um I think you should. It seems like it's going to be something that's going to... The last card that's popping up is the sun card. That is a card of happiness. So, if you want this, let me know. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. I have three questions for $20. Let me know what you think about this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.